Hello everyone, this is Martin Blanco and this is my aviation channel. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips and some advices and telling you what I recommend to start in plane spotting. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the camera. What type of camera do I need and what features does my camera need to have? You can use two types of cameras, DSLR cameras or bridge cameras. First of all, you need uh, to have the manual mode in your camera so that you can change the shutter speed, the lens aperture and also the ISO. You should have a great zoom in your camera. Uh, it could be at least a 200 mm zoom. Uh, and what shutter speed do I recommend to take the pictures? Well, I think that it could be uh, at least a 1 by 200. Because with the shutter speed, we're gonna freeze our image and we are not having movement in our image unless you want to have movement. And I could explain you that in another video, just leave it in my comments. So, yeah. Um, that's basically what you need to have in your cameras. A, what's the difference between a DSLR camera and a bridge camera, as you can see here? Well, the DSLR camera has the chance to exchange lenses. And, for example, here, as you can see, you have a 18 to 55 millimeter lens. That is not a telephoto lens. But here you have a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. That is a telephoto lens so that you have a great zoom. In my case, I use a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. And it's mm, very useful. And I chose that lens because it has image stabilization. But in this case, this lens doesn't have image stabilization. So yeah, that is basically why I chose mm, the lens that I have uh, right now. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have a, a, I'm sorry, a bridge camera that in this case is a Canon PowerShot SX70HS. The difference between this camera and the other, as I told you before, is that, uh, for example, this camera has just one lens and it doesn't have the chance to change the lens. But, as you can see, it has a great zoom. So, it has all the features that the DSLR camera has. And the great news here is that these kind of cameras are less expensive than, for example, the DSLR cameras. Then, we have the apps. The first app that I'm gonna recommend is Flight Radar 24. With this app, you could have all the information that you need uh, for uh, plane spotting. Meaning that, for example, if you're at home, you can take a look uh, to the app and say, hey, tomorrow I'm gonna have great uh, traffic in the airport, so maybe I could go. And you go to do plane spotting and take some pictures. And also, uh, when you're at the airport, you can check where the planes are, at what time they arrive, at what time they leave, um, their altitude, their speed, and the type of aircraft, their registration, and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you uh, in my cell phone. OK, so here we are at Friday of 24. For example, if we click here in this aircraft, we can see many information. For example, we can see that it is a Mazar cargo aircraft. It is going from Quito to Mexico City. Um, it is arriving in 3 hours and 15 minutes. We can see the aircraft type, the registration, the altitude and speed. Then we can search for an in a specific air airport, for example Oslo Airport. And here uh, you will find it in the map and you can find f um, departures um, I mean uh, right now arrivals and departures um, also general information such as temperature winds Q&H, and also some airports have their own picture 
Also, we can search for a specific aircraft, for example here, an Emirates aircraft, that in this case it is in a flight from Brussels to Dubai, and it is arriving in 1 hour and 9 minutes. So yeah, this is basically um, why I use this uh, app, because it gives me a lot of information of any aircraft and the 24 hours. Well, now we have the second app that is liveatc.net and basically uh, I use this app to listen to the ATC in the airport. Um, you would have to be near to the airport or at least be in the city of the airport that you would like to listen to the ATC. Um, and yeah, I, I'm going to show you how to use it too in my cell phone. Okay, so here we are at our cell phone and we're gonna search for live ATC. Then we're gonna click here and put our airport code that in my case is gonna be Quito's airport code. So here, as you can see, you have the airport information. Um, as you can see here, we have ATs, ground tower and approach and tower. Um, I'm not going to put here in ground tower and approach because um, right now there isn't any aircraft here so let's listen to the 80s you have to click and play and then you have to let it charge well, as you can listen, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. You can listen to the 80s, also to ATC, but in this case, I couldn't because there isn't any aircraft here. So, yeah, that is why I recommend this app because you can listen to the ATC uh, in real time. So, let's continue. Uh, now we have this uh, web page that I included here in the apps section. Um, it is called the spotterguide.net in which basically you can look for any airport that you would like to go and you can find the best spots and, and it tells you the usual runways in use, um, uh, in what times um, any spot is good for um, using. Um, and also, it gives a lot of information of the airport. Okay, so, so now we're gonna take a look at the spotterguide.net webpage. Here, as you can see, you can find many airports and many urban pictures. Um, for example, you have locations in Europe, Asia, North America, Middle East, Africa, Caribbean, Oceania, and any other places. Um, well, so for example, if you want to uh, search for a, a specific airport, for example, Oslo Airport, uh, you can type the um, code of the airport, or even the name, it doesn't matter. And then it would give you all the information that you would need. So now here we have the airport, so we're gonna click on it. Once you click on it, uh, you would find all the airport information, as you can see here. Um, then you have the rating of the airport. Uh, you have movements, uh, meaning the how many airplanes you, can you see in one hour, for example. Uh, airline variety, how many airlines uh, go there. Uh, for all locations, uh, meaning if there are many spots or not too much spots, and also the weather. Um, and as you can see here, it's not quite good because Oslo is in Norway, which is a Scandinavian country, so it's it doesn't have a good weather um, all the time. So now you can here look at the airport information. You can see runways and terminals. And for example, here you can see that in terminal A, B, and C, you just have domestic flights. And in terminal D, E, and F, you can find um, international Schengen flights and also international non-Schengen flights. Then you have spotting information. Uh, as you can see here, if a ladder is needed, so it's not needed because you don't have anything that can uh, be an obstacle to you to take pictures um you have a 
restrooms inside the terminal you have drinks and food uh, near the airport and also here you have the map so as you can see we can see how many spots do we have um, we can see where they, where they are for example you have your spot 1, spot 2, spot um, 4, 5 and you can check for them um, and also here you will find a specific information about every spot as you can see here in spot 1 it tells you where it is how you can get there uh, here you how you have what you can see there uh, in what time the light condition is good for that spot um, also the focal length that you will uh, need for example as you can see here an 80 millimeter to 100 millimeter lens and here are some examples of pictures taken in that spot so you can and here is the image of um, how is the spot so here you can search for the other spots and yeah that's pretty much it in how you can use um, this web page and now uh, we are in the edition tools section personally I use Lightroom and also Photoshop Basically, I use Lightroom to edit my pictures, um, meaning the lights, um, the exposure, the temperature, um, the darks, the whites, the high lights, and everything of a basic um, airplane edition. Um, and if you want, I could make a video of this, just as I told you before, leave it in the comments. Now, the second edition tool that I use is Photoshop. And I use Photoshop just for adding my watermark. And I use watermarks in my pictures because I publish my pictures in Instagram. So anyone can take in a screenshot and publish it as if it uh, were his or her. But I put my watermark. So even if that person takes in a screenshot, well, uh, my watermark would, st would um, still be there. So everyone would know that it's not her or his picture and it's mine because there's my, my name and I can make a tutorial of that if you want it to just leave it in the comments and well um, this is basically um, what you have to know to start in plane spotting um, and yeah that was pretty much it hope you liked this video hope it was useful and subscribe give me a like and yeah see you in another video